Hello and welcome back to Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. Where last time I did it again, I, it was a bad idea. I pulled even more swords out of the Vile God to get the last route, uh, which is we're on now, so welcome to that. And, uh, yeah, it was not a good beginning because, well, it was a decent enough beginning because we actually beat the Vile God, but then everything went to shit directly after that. Tiara got killed. We got thrown back in time again. Uh, and the world is entirely topsy-turvy, because now there's some sort of group of cultist-type people that just think justice means public executions and wiping out everybody in Dorf. I don't under... I can understand the second part, but at the same time, they're pretty damn brutal, and they have this weird thing about wine, and Sherman's a bastard again, because he's really evil, because it was his wish that caused his entire world to go... Fucked. And Galdo blew himself up, even though he's still alive, because Marissa's here with us, but yeah, that's about it. This is a hell of a start to the next route. Anyway, let's go to Zelwyn City to check this thing. How'd it go, Marissa? Hi, uh... Not good. They've got wanted posters with Fang's face on them stuck all over town. <laughs> that's a hell of a picture. Also, I feel so sorry for Marissa because of Galdo, but at the same time, what the fuck is that face for Fang? <laughs> Fang the heretic? This picture doesn't even look anything like me. Well, aside from the face, it looks pretty spot on, Fang, actually. Uh, you can't help but laugh at how much it makes you look like a total villain. Yeah, shut up. Now's no time for jokes. I, well, I guess. But where do we go from here? Mm. It may not be a perfect likeness, but with them being posted everywhere, we can't move openly. Yes, and that being said, we're in the middle of a friggin' town square where we even, like, save Galdo, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, you! Mr. Cool Guy! Oh, no! Huh? Whoa, it's Lola. Oh, hi. Okay, wait, does she know who we are in this one? Oh, you remember me? Thank goodness! Not one person in this world recognizes me. It's brought me nothing but headaches. Oh, my God, Lola remembers, thank God! Huh? So you were tossed into this world just like the rest of us? Okay, well, I think it's special in the fact that Lola was actually tossed in, or it, things were reset for everything except for Lola's memories, which is very different, because she wasn't even in our party when we went to the Vile God. Yep, looks that way. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of strange, don't you think? I thought the only people that got brought here were the ones that were actually at the battle. I mean, technically she might have been because of the, her placeholder character if I wanted her to be there, but same time, meh. I have no idea. But this place is a total pain. Everyone keeps going on about justice and order. Yeah, as if they have any idea what the hell that actually means. And they keep trying to sell me some weird wine for the most insane prices. They're a disgrace to the merchant profession. Yeah, agreed. We can agree we can all agree on that. You're not exactly one to talk. I'll be quiet. She's never tried to sell something to us for one million weight, has she? I don't know. What? It's not like I rip people off. I just sell people quality goods at a reasonable markup. <laughs> I'm not sure I see the difference. I mean, yeah, you said you just admit you marked them up. Listen, you've gotten yourself into a bit of a jam, right? How about I lend you a hand? Okay, how about we help you as well? This can be a mutual relationship. Wait, really? What's up? And of course, I expect to be compensated accordingly. We get a lot of money from killing monsters. You'll be happy, don't worry. I figured. <laughs> if money is the only issue, that's a problem I can solve. I've been saving up. Let's just ask her to help us. Yeah, come on. As it stands, we can't even go out to buy anything. Yeah, please. And apparently since nobody recognizes Lola, hopefully that means she'll be able to actually help us keep on the down low or something. Because she's smart. You're not wrong, but... Sorry, Marissa. I hate to ask you to do this. I have almost a million gold, though. How much is, how, how much is she gonna ask for? That? The least I can do. I'll take you, Marissa. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage! Well, come on, join my party at least, and if I'm paying you, Jesus. There's a small inn behind a place called Tomoe Shop. They can help you out. Oh, really? Okay. Oh! Wow, it's actually a different inn! Fantastic! Oh, okay. Is this the place Lola was talking about? It looks like it. It's not the Sunflower Inn, that's for certain. That's very different, that's cool. New Welcome. place. Oh, m what? Um... Lola told us to come here? Yeah, on the down low. Huh? You're... Is that Tomoe? The Tomoe shop clerk? Yeah. Oh, it's you. Yeah, hi. Wait, is that... Er That's Erica Lindbeck, I think. She voices Uzume. My name is Momoe. This is my family's home. Lola's been a huge help to us. Okay. Yoo-hoo! I've been waiting for you guys! Oh, hello. Are you a regular here or something? Probably. Yep. The shop and inn are both family-run businesses. They specialize in keeping secrets, so 
so you can use them without fear. Cool. I'm in charge of the shop, and my older brother takes care of the inn. You actually just caught me doing a quick run between the two. Wait, so you're Momoi? What about Tomoi? I see. So we can use the shop, too? Thanks. I guess this will be our home base for now. This is very interesting. But you gotta buy whatever info I bring you. That's the price of me introducing you guys. Fine. Clever as always, huh? In that case, the thing we need to know about most right now is the Septarian Club. Yeah, the bastards who are apparently the overlords of this world. I also want to know if any former Dorfa members are still alive, and if so, where they are now. Yeah, we're gonna go on a recruiting spree so that we can take them out. Dorfa? Why do you want to know that? I, and but, uh, I mean, no, we're not taking out Dorfa, we're taking out the Septarian Club with the Dorfa people. I realized that that might have been taken the wrong way there. <laughs> Sherman was talking. It sounds like they're going after former Dorfa members pretty hard. Yeah, understand we have some of them like Zank and Mariana, but Apollonius was just a fighter. So if I were a member of Dorfa... Hmm? Oh, I get it. The enemy of their enemy is their friend. Yeah, friendship. Exactly. If we can get them on our side, that'd be a huge boost to our strength, right? We're not recruiting Zank. Wow, it sounds like you really thought that through. Well... I've heard that some former Dorfa members are being held in some kind of camp. Where would that be located? Exactly? Okay, then we have our next target. All right. We'll free whoever they've got locked up there. Yes. Hold on. Before you go, I have one more thing I'd like you to consider buying. Okay, what's that? Now what? Mm. Still trying to claw every last coin out of our pockets, huh? What is it? No, it's not like that. There's another fairy here who's pretty miffed at the Septarian Club. Another fairy? Another fairy? Where? Where? Who? Yeah, I don't see any fairy. Yeah. Here! Right in front of you! Me! Oh, that's right! I forgot. They don't know that Lola's a fairy yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you saying... Yep. Wait, what? Lola, you're a fairy? Yes, she is. <laughs> I forgot. That's right. <laughs> you really didn't know? I completely forgot. I completely did count her in the idea of somebody that was a fairy that we didn't know. Because I know it was a But what about your partner? Where are they hiding? They don't exist. Don't treat me like any garden variety fairy. Hey. I'm completely self-sufficient. I'm totally fine without a partner. Which is admittedly impressive. Wow. I had no idea there were fairies like you out there. She's probably the only one. So anyway, what is it you actually want us to buy? Her services as a party member, I imagine. Are you really that dumb? Their whole wine scam is making my life harder, you know? Okay. I need all the money I can get in order to get my perfectly legitimate business back on its feet. So what I'm asking is for you to buy my strength. Deal! Oh, now I get it. I'm gonna let that part about legitimate business go for now. Shut up, But thanks. sure, we need as much help as possible. Don't try to piss her off when she's offering you help. Okay, Lola. I'm ready to pay top coin for your battle prowess. All right. Of course you are. I expect no less. <laughs> Lola joined the party! Fantastic! Okay, now it's time to go to the Justice Society camp, which looks a lot like it's gonna be the human ranch from the Vile God route, so let's just get it started, because that means it's gonna be painful. So this is where they're being held. Yeah. It's less a camp and more a prison. Yeah, just like the human ranch. Whatever you want to call it, this is where the former Dorfa executives are being held. All of them? If you wind up here... They either work you to death, or make an example of you in one of their public executions. Oh, great. Let's hope that not everybody's dead, or else we're gonna have not very many allies. So either way, they don't make it out alive. Great. That's justice, isn't it? That's what fair, do we do, kind. Then? Should we try and find a gap in the guards' patrols? Or maybe plan a nighttime infiltration? Let's just run in and kill everybody. Don't be stupid. Like, I'm gonna chicken out now. <laughs> we're going in through the front door, naturally. Oh, great. What? But we don't have enough. We don't have hey, enough. Hey, you! What are you doing over there? We're sneaky. Or gonna kick your ass, I guess. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Not good. They spotted us. Oh no! <laughs> I was planning to charge in head first anyway. This saves me the hassle of picking my first target. Oh great! Oh, hey! With the launcher. Who's next? <laughs> Shut up about your stupid I justice. Won, I won. Good job, you little devil. You. I don't have the right keys anymore. No, I have to go on a hunt for all of them all over again. No. All right, event. How, how could this happen to me? God, I got. To... I was once president of the magnificent Dorfer Corporation. We literally never saw you after the first. Basically, I think we saw like one event, 
one or two events from him in the, fir the at the very beginning before the time jump. Then we saw him for an instant in the goddess route, and I don't think we ever saw him at all in the vile god route. Fantastic. I was destined to become king of the new world. What karmic punishment is this that I must suffer forced labor in a place like this? That's called karma, you bastard. Mr. President, please get back to work before the guards start whipping us again. Damn, I feel sorry for Pyga. These people are positively relentless. Jesus. Jeez. You there, enough chit chat. Great. Ah, I'm sorry, we're working, see? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go home. Damn. Give me a break. This is why all you Dorfa heretics are oh, dead. What's going on? Is that guy anyway? President Hanagata, Paiga. How did? How do we even know about President Hanagata? We never met him. Marissa, what are you doing here? And who are these people? Oh, that's right. Galdo worked for Dorfa, and so Marissa probably knows about them. We're here to bust you guys out. Yeah. What? Yep. Ah, oh, thank goodness. A gift sent from the heavens. Marissa, is Galdo with you? Yeah, no, I mean, no, he's not sad. No. Galdo kills this. Sh uh, sh Hold it right there, heretics! Oh, great. Damn, they already caught up. Yeah. You have disrupted our justice and order. In the name of our mother goddess, you must be punished. I'm gonna shoot you. Hey, watch your mouth. Don't use the goddess's name without permission. Yeah, you, sit, you talk about the goddess all the time, but you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Mr. President, what should we do? Should we ask Marissa to help us? Get out of there now, while they're distracting the guards. Hmm. No, just the opposite. What? If we defeat these fencers, do you not think they would grant us a full pardon? No, they won't. Defeat? You mean you want to fight them? Am I going to have to fight Pyga and Hanaga? That's what? right. Think about it. They're already criminals, right? What good could possibly come from joining them? You having allies, you idiot! Siding with the Justice Society is the only profitable move here. If we really impress them, they may even consider us for the Septarian Club. You're an idiot. And if that comes to pass, we may have the chance to set our aim at the top of the world once more. Uh, asshole, Hanagata. But Mr. President, they're right here offering to save us and everything. Yeah, no, come on. Paiga, be a good boy. Paiga's a good man. He's not going to do this. Cease your prattle. If you truly were one of the four heavenly czars, I'd expect you to wipe the floor with these ruffians. Paiga's pretty strong, but he's not... Well, he hits like a truck, but he takes damage like a freaking... Like the pit, like the truck is made of cardboard and tinfoil. <laughs> what? You expect me to do all the fighting, too? Oh, well, yeah. He can't fight. He's a wimp. So, Paiga, what are you going to do? Win or lose, you don't have much of a life ahead of you. Help fight against Fang. Fuck Hanagata. Come on, I'm already desperate enough as it is. Okay, Setsuko. Help me be strong. Wow. Setsuko? That's his wife. It's the name of my darling wife. Vivian. Fair eyes. Am I really gonna have to fight Paiga? Okay, Paiga. What? Oh, god damn it. You can't be serious. Ah, uh, fine. Bring it on. God damn it, Paiga. You were supposed to. Way. You were the chosen Let's one. Do this. Oh, god. <laughs> Okay, well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I expected, but at the same time, this pro guy is probably still gonna hurt, and since I'm very close to the end, let or the beginning, so I could just leave and regenerate my SP and health, <gasps> let's go into serious face and nice. not hold back against this motherfucker. I have to use my special move now. Shit, now. Let's do this. I'm in a hurry. He's doing it instantly. Okay, I'll be able yourselves. to recover from this, though. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. he said ice? It, that was ice. He's Vivian's an ice fairy? I never would have guessed that. Okay, well, uh, whatever. Well, like he really did much of anything there. Anyway, all right, let's just go and use magical Executing lance just to finish him arms. off. Ready? Yeah. Oh, nice hey, work. Cool. Who's next? Nice work. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm yeah, that was actually pretty tough. But at the same time, eh, Pike is not a, was much of a per pushover. But at the same time, I still won. So yeah. Power has increased. Good job, Pippin. Ah. Yeah, that you deserve that though. <sighs> Looks like we lost. Yep. You useless imbecile! Very well. If it's come to this, then... Time to run away! Fucking Hanagata. Mr. President, please, wait for me! No. Why would you even go with him? They just ran off. What should we do? Let them. If they, uh, if we just help them escape. If they get caught again, then I'm not coming back here. Forget them. I feel like they'd be more trouble than they're worth if we took him with us. Fair enough. Still... One of them was once the president of Dorfa. 
And the other was one of the four heavenly czars. Two of which are dead. Are they still dead? Those are your bosses? I'd say you made the right choice quitting. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, there might still be people to free. Let's keep on looking. All right. Oh, these guys. For oh, justice! For justice! For justice! Weak, Suffer no evil! Stop talking about justice! Going. These guys are just Suffer like no those evil. Girls, justice. Damn it. Suffer uh, no oh. evil! Suffer no evil! It's Suffer so no bad. evil! Suffer no evil! For justice! For justice! For justice! It's not over God, yet! For justice! For justice! I'm, I'm so Suffer upset no evil. by this entire situation now because of these bastards. Oh. Thank God I have this map that tells me whenever there are these little passages so I know exactly. Wait, I just got a key from that instantly? Let me actually go ahead and just do this. I'll handle this! I ah! They have different times for their death at Fantastic. Right now. Huh? Hey, look over there. Who? Mariana? Hello, Mariana. Oh, she's trapped, I guess. Or she's, you know, of course she gets caught. Mariana! Yep. Oh, wait, where's Bernard as well? Then? Your thing. Yeah? I didn't expect to see you in this world. I figured you and Bernard bit the dust along with the vile god. Yeah, it's surprising to see her too. I'm surprised they didn't just execute her instantly, or Bernard for that matter. <laughs> I didn't want you to see me in this pitiful state. Well, sorry about that. It's not like I have any choice. You're in a prison cell and I'm here to rescue people and I guess I gotta save you now because of that. But very well. <laughs> Kill me. I've lost the vile god, Storfa, everything. A quick death is better than a life of misery. Uh, relax with the edginess there, Mariana. Not you don't understand, Lady Mariana. We're here to rescue you. Yeah, as ironic and uh, probably spiteful as you might be at us saying that, considering we put you in this situation, we're here to get you out. Rescue? Galdo betrayed Dorfa because of you, and now you claim you want to help me? Well, yeah. We need allies. You gotta realize none of that crap matters anymore, right? Yeah, come on, Dorfa's dead, and this Justice Society is even worse. That bastard Sherman is controlling this entire world now! Yeah. I'm telling you, all I want to do is crush his precious Septarian Club. I can't let that disgusting organization stand! Yeah. Crush the Septarian Club. Yep. And now Fang's going around recruiting allies to help him do it! Yeah, so come on, join me. Lady Mariana, please, lend us your strength! Please. Hmm. <laughs> well, great. She's probably thinking this all just some big, wonderful joke to us, but it's probably very insulting to her, and now she's gonna attack us, isn't she? Why are you laughing? Yeah, come on. How could I not laugh? What? Okay, she's... well, she doesn't seem as insane, or, or as before, maybe very concerned. Dorfa was meant to usher in a new world. Everyone was to live under Dorfa's umbrella, great. where we would bring them all happiness. Yeah, right. You're the one responsible for killing that wish. And yet now, here you are, reaching out your hand to me. It's a perfect comedy. <laughs> Thanks, Mariana. Do you want me to get you out or not, you bitch? Mariana? But more than anything, I cannot forgive Sherman. He holds false justice within his hands. Agreed. Very well. I will toss aside my stubborn pride and join with you. I wish to help shape the world once more. All right. Well, then, that's interesting. So you're going to join us? Cool, we have Mariana. You're holding my fairy collar is somewhere further inside. Get her free, and we can begin discussing the details. All right, cool. We, we're gonna... We're, we, uh, cool, new party member, I guess. I, I'm assuming she, she's probably just gonna be one of those characters where it's, where it's just like... I don't know, like how Momoe, or whatever it is, is yeah. a... What's inside? ...character, and she is helping us, but she's not actually in the party or anything like that. Or like... I don't even know. Can I have a giant in her, in her interferize form, like, in, in her giant form for my party? That'd be awesome, but I think that'd be a little overpowered. Yeah. Right. Mid potion. Oh, no, it's just a normal jailer. Oh, shit. Jailer sucks. I walked right by him and he didn't even Sick. register or trigger. That's a stupid guard. Okay, that one did. That one's smarter. He heard me talking shit. No! 
key. None of those black key. Okay, so I found the black key where I, that I was supposed to apparently find, evidently. Who is leaving all of these keys all over the damn place? Like, one was left in the library or in, like, a, a, some sort of alcove that was in this jail or whatever, like one of these here somehow. That was the Azure one. And then the black key was just hidden here. So, are people just really bad at keeping track of where the keys are supposed to go? Or is this just... I, I realize this is a dungeon. It's not supposed to make sense, but it doesn't make any sense is the problem to me. All right, time to find cholera. Cholera! Yay! Wow. Lady Mariana, you're okay! That was easy enough. And I'm glad to see you're safe as well. Aw. We rescued your fairy just like you asked. So now you're gonna keep your promise and help us, right? Yeah, let's get out of here. Very well. Use my power as you see fit. All right. What? Lady Mariana, you're actually gonna help them? I expect her to betray us very soon, actually, uh, considering that. I don't even know. Yes, for the sake of a new world. Cholera, may I ask you to lend me your strength one more time? Hmm. Of course. Anything for you, Lady Mariana. All right, Cholera is not bad. Oh. There they are, over here. Oh, come on. They certainly are tenacious. Cholera, let us teach them a lesson. All right. Okay. Fair eye. Woohoo! Do I actually get to see her, like, have her as like a bonus party member? Mariana Joy. Wait. Is she actually gonna be? What? Okay, she's actually a character. Holy crap! She's actually. Oh my. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow. Wait, lightning? Wait, what? Lightning? What the? Okay. And cures? Holy crap! And revive. Oh my god. Wow, I really like Mariana. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's actually already fa Whoa! Okay, wow. She's actually already fair eyes. So I actually get to see her in her fair eyes form on this screen. That's amazing. After setting all that up, let's go into a fight with Mariana. Let's do this. This is going to be very interesting. I'm excited. Mm. That form. Yeah. Hey, she felt more like a monster when we fought her before. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm glad that people are addressing this, but she looks really cool. Her spear, her spear, that's a spear. I just realized her weapon is actually a spear. That's interesting. That's because I have modified my fury to obtain a colossal amount of power. This is my true fury form. Oh, okay. Careful, everyone. They're getting ready to attack. Yeah. My power as one of the four heavenly czars is known far and wide. And now the Septarian rats will feel the full extent of that power. Cool. My turn. I'm actually really excited for all of this. Oh my god, she looks really cool when she moves too. Oh, I'm gonna... Mariana, welcome ah, to the group. I'm going to enjoy it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Damn, heretic. Not over yet. Shut up. Suffer no evil. What is that? <laughs> I love Mariana. Oh. That tickled. My turn. <laughs> Tickled. Oh god, dude, I feel sorry. You know what? Let's see one of her abilities. Let's make this a momentous occasion and use her ultimate skills just because she's already in fairy form. Anyway, so let's see. What's it called? Momentary Requiem. Rapid slashes. Okay, so yeah, this is entirely different than before. That's a lot of SP. Unleash your luck. Momentary Requiem. Oh! Your requiem. Oh my god! Ah! Mariana's awesome! I told you it was useless. <laughs> oh, Mariana's awesome! Oh my god, I'm so happy! And also, I gave her buddy ears. She looks so cute. And we're instantly back to Momoe's hotel. Fantastic! We're Tomo's hotel. It's great that we have Mariana with us and all, but where do we go from here? Uh, get other people, probably. The Septarian Club is exceedingly powerful. We don't stand a chance against them with what we've got right now. Probably right. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but Sherman was just ridiculously powerful. So why don't we start gathering theories from wherever we can find them? It seems like the Septarian Club has no interest in them. Well then, yeah, I guess. Collect theories, get power. That's usual. I have usual. to assume Formula. all those theories are still sitting around waiting for someone to come along. All right. Huh? But we have all the Furies right here already! Literally all of them, except for one. Those are from the old world, yes? This world is different from the past we all remember. So it's likely uh, safe to assume that things are different. I was able to do some research, and it seems that this world's Furies exist separately from our own. Alright! 
Yeah? Then what happens when we collect all the Furies again? Does the goddess re-revive and grant another wish? Hopefully. I honestly have no idea. I, I, honestly, yeah, that's really confusing. If she's already revived, then what the heck were we summoned, or what? I don't know. Anyway, if all you're looking for is info on Furies, I can provide that right here. For a small fee, naturally. Thank you, Lola. Man, you're greedy. Can't you just toss us something for free once in a while? No, that's not how she works. Who can do? I'm not running a charity here. <laughs> Your dedication to ripping people off really isn't any different from those septarian bastards. To an extent, she doesn't pay one million call gold every time. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Now then, there's a slumbering fury in Bowie Valley. All right, wait, if we went back in time, <gasps> Ethel! Got it. Nothing comes to those who wait. Onward to Bowie Valley. Woo! I'm so... Uh, I don't expect our pursuers will follow us this far. Why am I even go- I don't care about Hanagata. Get him off my screen, please. Uh, please, wait for me, Mr. President! Why do you even bother with him, Paiga? Wait, does that- Wait, no, I fought Paiga. That means he's not gonna be in my party. Damn it! Rejoice, Paiga! The light of the sun warms our skin! We are free! For the moment. Yes! Yes! I can finally go home! I can see my family again! Yes! Good for Paiga. Hey. If you could reincarnate and come back as anything, what would you want to be? Okay. One, ominous as fuck, because, I mean, I think he's going to kill them. Two, um, that is a very different voice that I don't recognize uh, at all. Who, who's there? Probably somebody that's going to kill you. I'd like to be an insect. Born in the summer, dead by autumn. Spend the time in between sending my cry up into the warm, clear air. You're... interesting, bud. Nice hat, nice tie. Uh, what the fuck? Who is this? Paiga, watch out! This guy's a fencer! Uh, oh, you think? Huh? Um, be careful. Huh. Okay, he has a gun! He has a gun! He has a gun! He has a gun! Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Did he just shoot Hanagata? <laughs> Mr. President! He just shot Hanagata. A fish wouldn't be so bad either. You have to keep on swimming, or you're dead. If I could be reborn as that fish... What? No! It can't be! Just when I had finally... He's dead! Mr. President! Holy... No! No, 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 no! Who the fuck is this guy? Is this the new Zank? I don't like the new Zank! So, what's your pick? An insect? A fish. I'd go for, uh, personally a wolf. Or a, probably a big cat. Probably a tiger. <laughs> uh, oh, he's gonna say, don't kill me, but a dodo? You wanna be a dodo? I hate dodos. What freedom is there to be found as a flightless bird? This guy is weird. I don't even know. I don't know. No, I, I didn't. Don't kill me, please. Yeah, I, I don't think that's gonna work on this guy. I have a loving family waiting for me. A wife and kids. And I haven't finished paying off my mortgage! <laughs> Poor Pike, always thinking about that mortgage, man. He's telling the truth. There's nothing to be gained from killing an insignificant little peon like him. Thanks, Vivian, for the sideways slap. That Begging day. you, please! Spare me! Yeah. Bad draw for you, being born a human. Better luck in your next life, Jesus. friend. Wager whatever you got on a fish or an insect that can live free. What the fuck? Just a moment, Noye. What? Hmm. Okay, great. We have two new fuckers. Oh, god dang it. Also, those t damn, she, she, she's bigger than Harley. Junon. Okay. This Noye. man was once quite the skilled business executive within Dorfa. Okay, so we have Junon and Noy. If we were to make him a Septarion, do you not think he would devote his entire being to us? There's their Septarion? <sighs> oh, great. Does that mean you're gonna spare me? For now. Why, of course. Well, so long as you would be so kind as to buy some of our wine. Oh, no. Wine? One million How gold. positively marvelous for you, Paiga. The current market value of this wine is a paltry two million gold per bottle. Fuck! Two million? I couldn't possibly afford something that expensive. Are you kidding me? Then you're in luck. I would be thrilled to offer you a loan option. A simple payment of 100,000 gold per month for 40 months. What the fuck? That's double the upfront price. You're a monster. What the hell is going on? Well, we are a business after all. 
Or would you rather I let my associate Noye here shoot you dead and leave your corpse rotting in the sun? Yeah, okay, I'll fi final pay. Jesus Christ. I'll give you three seconds, after which I'll need your final answer. Three seconds are up. Okay, they actually did count that, okay. Ah, you already started counting? Uh, okay, I'll buy it. Please, let me buy the wine. Okay, yeah, Paiga. Oh Smart my, choice. you've made me so very happy. You're simply the most wonderful man I've ever met, Paiga. You're the most horrid woman I've ever met, Janone, even though you're quite interesting. Just when I'd gotten a taste of sweet, sweet freedom. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well then. That was a thing. Color. Hee <laughs> hee. So fun. Hee <laughs> hee. I actually kind of like going to all these different places all the time. Right? Too bad your master is in a constant bad mood. Lady Maria just kind of clams up when she doesn't have business to take care of. That's all. Cholera, you talk too much. <laughs> she was blushing at that. That's cute. Lord Sherman. What about... What happened to Lord Sherman? He just showed his true colors. That's all. I mean, honestly, yeah. That's not true. The old Lord Sherman was super nice. He was strong but kind. A true gentleman. You're too gullible. You and Tiara both. I saw right through him. I saw how dangerous he really was. You're just jealous. Nope. After all, I was right, wasn't I? Well, I guess. Good. So you agree that I was right. So then that Lord Sherman is the real Lord Sherman? Hey, come on. Don't take it so hard. Like I said, that's how he was all along. But the Lord Sherman from the other world was... My point is, it doesn't matter. Plus he's getting a little carried away, but maybe he'll calm down a little if we beat him up. Calm down? Sure. If you're along to see the old Sherman again so bad, use your own strength to do something about it. It's not like I'm longing, but... But... I think you're the one that's gonna get beat up. <laughs> what?! Get real! I beat him for sure. I mean, I'm overpowered, so yeah. But here in reality, he already beat me. He already beat you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Fuck. Stop it. Don't tell- Don't say that. He was a cheap boss. That's- I was just- He just caught me off guard. Next time, I'm gonna win. No doubt. Really? Of course. Have I ever lied to you? Seriously? You've lied more times than I can keep track of. Ugh. Well, this time I'm telling the truth. I'm serious. Okay, and I believe you. I'll be counting on you. Oh, Oh, that was a very pleasant si sort of scenario, even though it's kind of a sa sad one because of Lord Sherman being a dickhead, but whatever. All right, then, now that I've checked out all those little events, let's go to Bowie Valley, then, and see if we can't find some more people to recruit. Hey, Fang, there's evidence that someone's been through here already. And not too long ago, by the looks of it. Was it maybe Ethel or somebody looking for her? Well, we came here to get the Fury before, so... Yeah. But that was basically a different world, remember? Yeah, it's really weird. Damn it, tra time travel. We're back in the past, so this is technically the first time we've ever been here. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Man, this is so confusing. It's I, I honestly forgot that, especially with Lola, with all the different timelines. God damn it. Okay, so what's it mean? Someone else was here earlier? There's all kinds of weirdos wandering the globe. Us included. If they came because they know there's a fury here, it could be another fencer. We need to be careful. Oh, great. Maybe it's that Noye guy we just saw. No, thank you! Okay. Oh, God. I'm gonna do this! No! Don't hurt me. That's no okay, you're not hurting me at least, so I appreciate it. Ha! There! You need to not miss Mariana! There! Fair eyes. All right, let's see Mariana's fair eyes now. Damn, that must have hurt. Woo! Now, let us proceed. I really like that little jump twirl she did there. I like that. All right, let's go kill this one. I said kill this one. All right, straight to Bowie Valley. Nothing in between from the start, so that's interesting. Lady Mariana, there's something here. I don't. I think that means Ethel it isn't here. It seems to be guarding the Fury. What is? Guess it works the same as in our old world. Well, we'll just have to take it out and get the Fury. Let's do this, Aaron. All right. Okay, Fang. <laughs> Time to kill it. Out of my way. It's a bird. Let's it's a strong this. bird. Okay, I'll give it that. It's a strong bird. Let's do Stop this. attacking Lola, you sick sack of shit. Why are you people beating up my lolly? Let's see cynical laugh, then. I'm no, cynical what you do? Ooh. It's useless. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Another step toward my goal. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is a nice post. I still have parts to go. Shut up, Sherman. All right, now where's that fury? Let's check. Uh, I didn't see one anywhere. What? Huh? Hey, hey, hold up. Something smells good. What? 
It smells like chamomile tea. You do what? Chamomile tea? Could that mean? No, no way. Is it really? Tell me, please say yes. <sighs> what a wonderful fragrance. A nice cup of chamomile tea after a hard day's work is pure bliss. Don't you agree, Keely? It's Tiara! Yay! Oh my god, it's Tiara. Yay! It's Tiara. Tiara! Tiara! You. It's you! What are you doing here? God damn it, Fegs, you probably doesn't remember you again. Hmm? Who might you be? And how did you come to know my name? Oh, fucking course, he's stupid enough to do this again. Well, I can't blame him. The last time he saw her, she was... Dead, so what are you um, talking about? It's me, Fang! Oh, you're alive. That's such a relief. You forget that you went back in time, Fang. Are you perhaps a stalker? Oh no. That would explain your odious face. I'm not as again. <laughs> no matter how much the world changes, she's still the same rotten black hearted stuck up harpy she always was. Good heavens! What an awful thing to say! But is she excited now? But oh my I must admit, I somewhat enjoy this new feeling. I wouldn't mind if you said a bit more. Oh, God damn it! Uh, the same old Tiara, it looks like. Yep, same Tiara. Tiara? Do you really not remember us? Apparently not. You don't remember traveling with us? And standing by our side as we fought the Vile God? Okay, that's kind of a big thing to just unload on somebody that apparently doesn't seem to remember you. Vile God? I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought I made it clear that we are perfect what? strangers. Did you just say the vile god as if it doesn't exist at all? Why are you all saying such creepy things? I suppose I understand if you're all stalker friends, but still. Damn. <laughs> well, what do you mean creepy? Creepy? Well, I mean stalker friends? That's kind of creepy. I'm sorry, but I simply do not have the time to deal with depraved stalkers such as yourselves. Hmm. Okay, thank you. I have obtained my fury, so now I will take my leave. A good day to you all. Oh, she got the fury. Wait, we need that fury, though. Hey, hold on a second. Yeah, come on. Fang, we have to go after her. Yeah, come on. <sighs> Fang. Fang? Fang? What's the matter? Snap out of it. Piara's alive. Yeah, so snap out of it. She's walking away right now. Fang. Come on. That perverted, rotten harpy is still alive. <laughs> I thought this world was completely different. But I've still got at least one old thorn stuck in my side. Good for you, Fang. But you really should be hurrying. Hmm. What is my Fang, thing? what you said was awful. But you look positively ecstatic. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, well, I mean, out of context, she's just, like, seeing you reacting this way to TR. You were just enemies before. It's okay, Fang. Even Marissa can see right through you. Uh -huh. You're happy she's alive, right? You really don't have to hide it. Come on. Who says I'm happy? Oh my god, really? Fucking soon, Ray. Okay, okay, fine. Anyway, let's head back to the inn. There's something I need to talk to you about. What? Why aren't we going after Tiara? What? Okay. Well, that just made me a little bit miffed now. Uh, on that note, I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did. And yeah, that was a hell of an episode. We got new allies, or we tried to get allies of Paiga and Hanagata, but they were bastards and just tried to attack us. But then we got an actual, actual uh, ally in Mariana, and oh my god, she's amazing! I'm in love with her already! I'm loving her, ha having her in my party already, and I'm excited to see what else I can learn. But, and then we also got a glimpse of some new enemies we're going to be facing, I'm sure, down the road, since they're apparently part of the Septarian Club. They were... Noye and Juon, which are very interesting names, and they look very interesting, and I can't wait for them to be cheat bosses and kick my ass. But anyway, oh yeah, and then the big thing that just happened, Tiara is alive, so we probably have a plan. Don't exactly know what T uh, Aaron is going to want to talk to Fang about, but we'll probably find out in whatever comes next in the next episode. So, I'll see you all then. I told you it was useless. Oh my god, she's so cute! Oh god, I'm so happy. I never thought I'd be happy to say that I have Mariana.